I'm hearing that in IT class, I made the mistake because I edited the CSS and I didn't know what I was doing. So, um, the Chinese and the Koreans, neither, or the Koreans, neither of them hacked me, but I messed up the website myself, and so I deserve to be. Yeah, that's that sounds like something I would do. Um, and then I blame the Chinese, and it makes it way more interesting. Oh gosh. Well, but the thing is, it, it could actually be a hacker's fault. You never really know. I, I, I guarantee you at some point I did make a mistake because I didn't know what I was doing at all. And so I did deserve a B in IT, but I do believe that you should tell students what's going to be on the test or just not speak in such absolutes about what's going to be on the test if it's not what the test is going to be. But the thing is, I, I think that people do try to hack one another, and that's why I sent them this really weird email. And I, I take my take my job as a warning person, as a person that warns people very seriously. And people do hack each other a lot, and I'm pretty sure the Indian government did um, do a number on uh, the NSA at one point. Um, that's the thing about big networks. So, I don't know. Um, that's the thing about people that have their eyes too focused on the trees and they don't know the name of the forest but um, or that they, they don't even notice that the forest exists because they're so focused on certain trees and that's bad from a national security perspective but um, I, I act like it's funny but then other people don't think it's funny but then it's always adversaries no matter what because who who are you trying to hack well your adversary like but there are other people that focus on hacking for economic reasons to spy on traders and stuff like that. And I don't know, I feel like no matter what, um, do I always feel like we're tricking people into shorting? It's like our favorite thing to do. Pretty much. Um, but then if I was a mom and pop investor, I really don't think you understand how little you matter. Um, it's, it's hard to explain how you really just don't matter that much from a um, price of things perspective and um, who who really matters is like you know the big guys or are they are the big guys so anyways um, yeah my my IT professor was actually really good he, he was a good professor and that's a thing but he I'm, I feel like he might have been involved with some people that tried to hack us but so were other people big time but then I do make mistakes on my own because people aren't involved with um, petty hacks like that. Well, the thing is you would think that someone at some point would be because I did threaten. I said if you um, if you try to blow up one of our aircraft carriers, we'll just make North Korea not exist anymore. Um, like we will nuke everything there. And I, I feel like that might have been the reason. they. That's why I assume they hacked me. But because um, I, I am... I've always known that I was a very international person for a long time. And that's the thing about like cryptocurrency that is so much more international than domestic. And people, I, I feel like they just don't realize that. Um, but I, I feel like we definitely mind a lot of it ourselves because we have the Americas, which we are the number one miners, obviously. And then there's um, Europe, which is geothermal, which is water that's like with volcanoes. I don't even know what geothermal is. Old, faith, old Faithful is geothermal. Hydroelectric is a dam type or like using water without heat um, to turn the turbine. But that would, I guess, so tidal currents would be hydroelectric also. All right. So that's, it doesn't involve heat. So that's why it's not geothermal. Anyways, um, all I'm saying is yeah, I'm sorry I blame this guy, but he did, but like I would have got a B no matter what, but still, like, I, I, I don't like that I can't save my PowerPoints because I'm worried about getting hacked. So I, I don't even know if I have them stored on my external, on my external hard drive because I have a hard drive full of like fear of my old stuff, like, like VMware and stuff like that, where I, I, I should be like doing my own networks in VMware so that I can look like I'm smart or something. Um, but 
like I can't I can't go look at that stuff because I'm worried about getting hacked and that's why it's like that's why I have a problem with a professor doing that but I feel like I have a problem with everyone doing that no matter what and that's that's the real thing it doesn't really matter if you're a professor it's like everyone's doing it and like that's why like it, it, you don't understand how much it drives you nuts like when you always think it's them when it's not them but then like so finally you reach the point that you actually understand like how how to know it's them and then you're always wondering and then you always assume that it's them because you always assume that someone's going to have hacked you and then you're always thinking well if I know where I'm VPNing to or I don't know that might be good because I'm part of it but then can't you get back but I, I don't know like that's the thing about like having monitored networks as long as you're VPNing to a monitored network um, that like that they don't know about that's when a VPN is really good but like I mean e but if you're VPNing in your own network I feel like that's good too um, because then you don't have to worry about any man in the middle type stuff I think I don't know you have to understand like I'm really not the superest of super computer guys but I do understand it a little bit and that's why like I'm on like spy level where I'm like not the IT guy I'm I'm the kung fu guy, but then am I? My back gets sore, so um, I'm the um, guy that tells people things they don't want, want to hear. Guy, pretty much.